Proverbs 16 18, pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Most people have a tendency to get it twisted. Therefore, it's important that you understand the difference. That is pride goes before destruction, not a fall. But it is a haughty spirit that precedes a fall. Let's consider Solomon's wisdom in this verse. Scientifically, we know that a tall tree attracts lightning. It is also true that God will put down those who are conceited. Therefore, take note of the Lord's words, I hate pride and arrogance, corruption and perverse speech. Proverbs 8 13. In other words, when you are trying to stick out in the crowd because of your own ego, you are contributing to your own downfall and destruction. James 3 16, for wherever there is jealousy and selfish ambition, there you will find disorder and evil of every kind. This is why stuck-up people usually suffer some humiliating experience, designed to deflate their ego. Remember, it only takes a small pin to prick a large water balloon and it will spill everywhere. Don't forget that it was pride that caused the fall of Lucifer. This is because pride always leads to your own downfall. Pride is so despicable that a person should avoid it even if it means losing fame, power, prestige, or status. Therefore, take note, Proverbs 18:12. before destruction the heart of a man is haughty, and before honor is humility. It's very important for us to realize that divine direction is an absolute necessity, given life's complexity and human frailty. Because when we are left to our own devices, we cannot find the path in the light let alone in the dark. Therefore, don't forget, Proverbs 29 23, a man's pride will bring him low, but the humble in spirit will retain honor. It is vital that everyone clearly understands that when we are reading the Word of God, we are privileged to witness a collection of profound comments on God's engagement in our daily lives and activities. God sees and has tremendous insights into everything concerning us. Whether it is intellectually, politically, socially, economically, militarily, and especially the spiritual honesty of His people. Just imagine how different life would be if we truly believed and understood what was really going on in the world around us. Please keep in mind that everything that goes on in our lives are all under the watchful eyes of the Lord. We could think of it as divine surveillance. Therefore, take note, Proverbs 15 3, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. Just think about this, Proverbs 15 11, even death, destruction, and hell hold no secrets from the Lord. How profound is that? With all of that being the case, how much more does he know the human heart? Therefore, we desperately need the Lord's help. And he is willing to help you. The question is, are you ready to surrender your life over to Christ? If so, then, you must follow Peter's instructions. Acts 2.38, Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord will add you to his body, his family, which is the church according to, Acts 2.47. Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. Please, be sure to invest in yourself by liking all videos, and share my videos with everyone that you know. I need your help. I need everyone to like, comment, follow and subscribe, so, I can meet the requirements to go live. Please push the notification bell to be informed when I post content. I have some biblical content on the following four different platforms. But 100% of my content is on my YouTube channel. So, until next time. Take care.